And finally, in our upstream from politics segment, because politics is downstream from culture, mm -hmm. we're going to focus on what's going on outside of Washington, D.C. Joining me is our producer and correspondent, Doug Blair, who drives me crazy <laughs> all day long. And, uh, but you'll like him. He's America's sweetheart. Hey, uh, Doug, what's in the culture today? So we're going to be talking about comedy and how comedy has sort of gone from being something that, you know, makes you laugh uh -huh. to something that makes you think about how bad you are, makes you think about the political environment. But uh, it's certainly not comedy That anymore. doesn't sound funny at all. No, I know. So all one right. of the worst offenders of this is uh, The Daily Show's Trevor Noah. Although oh, God, yeah. He yeah. recently had some news to announce. So why don't we go to a clip and hear that news? So let's roll the clip. All right everything that we've done and I I just found myself filled with gratitude for for the journey it's been it's been absolutely amazing it's something that I never expected and I found myself thinking throughout the time you know everything we've gone through you know, the Trump presidency the the pandemic uh, just the journey of you know the more pandemic um, <laughs> and then and, and I realized that after the seven years um, my time is up I, uh... That may be the funniest segment I've ever seen Trevor <laughs> Noah do on The Daily Show. No, I, I, so, so he's quitting. He's quitting. Seven yes. years. And my understanding is he, um, he cratered their ratings by like 75% from when he, he did. inherited the show. Right. So, great work, John Trevor. Stewart was a representative of sort of like what political comedy could be. He right. used to be like that. But actually, it's, it's interesting because they... they I think it was the LA Times, they brought it up that he represented something that needed to happen. He represented something that comedy needed because of his diversity or yeah. something, not because he was funny. I read that article in the LA Times. They did this whole sort of dissection and obituary of Trevor Noah's career at The Daily Show. And it's like, oh my God, he was so important. He was so needed. I read through, nowhere did they say, oh, and he was funny. Right. Because right. he wasn't funny. Exactly. And that's the problem. The, the whole agenda of the show became... Now listen, I understand what Jon Stewart did on The Daily Show, and he was doing, it was like an extended weekend update, basically, from mm -hmm. Saturday Night Live. And they would make political jokes, but they would lead with funny. They were liberal, they were making funny conservatives, they were right. making fun of conservative media all the time, but they would lead with funny. It's like, first, is it funny? If it's not funny, nah, we're not gonna do it. And I'll admit, it was funny. It was funny at my expense as a right. conservative. But what Trevor Noah was doing, it was like, uh, I think it was Stephen Miller who writes at The Spectator, calls it group therapy for liberals. Right. Which is, I guess, important, but when you've got him doing it and Stephen Colbert doing it and Jimmy Kimmel doing it and all of them doing it, it's yeah. like, I, I, it's what, what happened to my comedy? Where are my jokes? Exactly. And it, that's not something that's necessarily new. We've seen the evolution from, let's say, devolution of comedy <laughs> from being something to make you laugh to something that makes you think about something politically yeah. for a long time now. Rob Schneider, who used to be on SNL, oh, yeah. actually mentioned this really recently Deuce in an interview. Bigelow. With, right. He mentioned it in an interview with Glenn Beck. And we actually have some of that. Could we roll the clip of uh, the Glenn Beck interview, please? When Hillary Clinton lost, which is understandable. Mm -hmm. yes. Not exactly the most likable yeah. person in the room. Right. And then when Kate McKinnon went out there on Saturday Night Live from the cold opening, you know, like she started dressed as Hillary Clinton and she starts playing Hallelujah. And I said, I literally prayed to please have a joke at the end. Don't do this. Please don't go down there. And there was no joke at the end. And I went, it's over. It's over. He's, he's not going to come back. And it's those, it really is the end of it's gone. You can. All right, two things. Uh, mm -hmm. First, can you get Rob Schneider on the show? Uh, yes, I'll, I'll get him right on. I'll get him right on. Secondly, can I wear a trucker hat like Glenn Beck? <laughs> what does that look? What has happened to Beck? That's the, I, I mean, think you I, could rock it. He's very comfy there. I don't know if it sort of fits with the style. But he's absolutely right. Sure. I mean, I mean, I, listen, we're not breaking new ground here to say that Saturday Night Live isn't funny anymore. Right. But when you look back to, you know, uh, the De Dennis Miller era, I mean, Dennis Miller was literally a genius with, again, and it was equal opportunity humor across the board. But it was always funny. Right, right. And and yes, Saturday Night Live has now become this, it, it is a arm of the political yeah. propaganda machine right. for Democrats. Well, Larry, it's such a shame. Don too, Lemon is funnier exactly. at this point. Exactly. But you can use comedy to push a political point if you want. Of like it, But the, the, the comedy has to come first. Right. And I think that that's what we've lost here, is that comedy has taken a second fiddle to 
messaging. I won't disagree. And of course you can push a political point through your comedy. But frankly, I mean, I'm old fashioned. I would just like my late night comedy shows to be escape. Right. Entertaining. Right. Funny. I you could throw politics in at the end if you want, but primarily just make it politically free and make it funny. Exactly. And, and let me laugh. Let me laugh at the end of the day. It's escape. All right. Well, that's it for this edition of O'Connor Tonight. But we will see you again same time tomorrow. In the meantime, we'll see you on the radio.